Hey, happy Friday. I'm back in my car again. Yahoo! I am leaving the Taj Mahal Mart. That's the fancy Walmart. It is, it's fancier. I just went in there and they have fancified it even more. See, I went to, I went to the uh, Target over here because I like this Target. Um, they don't play, damn it. Everybody is out and about. They, they don't play loud music in there. And typically it's not crowded. Now tonight was kind of weird though. I did get to organize candy. I mean, it went, it went okay. It went pretty well, I think. I haven't actually watched the video yet. Um, although I realize my nose is very red because my nose has been runny today and I've had to blow it several times and now it's all like red. So I look like I've been drinking or something. I may have to do something about the opening segment. I may just re-record it. I don't know. I noticed it in the closing section, so I didn't even show my face at the end like, Mary, you, you look like Rudolph. What is going on with your nose? And the light in there, I think, made it look worse somehow. Anyway, I spent about 40 minutes in there organizing candy. I don't know what the hell is going on tonight. Everybody in High Point is buying candy at, at, at Target. I don't know what the hell. And my, my guess is they have just run out of Halloween candy and they've been eating candy nonstop for days and now they've they've got a sugar addiction addiction and they've run out and they're jonesing for more so they went to the local Target and bought more candy. Because everybody was buying candy. I had to keep stopping and getting out because I always get out of the way of people. I, I, I do. I really do a lot of the a lot of the stops and starts in those videos are me getting out of the way. It was a conga line of people coming down the damn candy aisle and buying candy. I've never, I have never seen so many people buying candy in Target in my life. I've made a bunch of these videos. I've never seen anything like it. Is it because it's Friday night? Are people depressed or something? They go home, go home and eat a whole bag of Reese's cups. I mean, I don't know. I don't know, but everybody was buying candy in Target tonight. It was a real challenge working around these people, which I do. I work around them. I have my celebratory drink to celebrate surviving that shit. We got it all done. We got it looking nice. I didn't buy anything. People always ask me, do you buy anything when you go in the store to organize shelves? Only if I need something or if I see something that looks really cool. I mean, I might buy something. Sometimes I do. Sometimes I don't. Honestly, most of the time I don't. Um, I just go out. I just walk out empty-handed. I didn't buy anything in there tonight. But I did go. I came down here to the Taj Mahal Mart because I wanted to check out the nail polish again. It is still not labeled. It still looks like shit. They have totally remodeled the store and moved everything around. They reorganized everything. They've added all this special lighting to make it look extra fancy and shit. The damn nail polish is still not labeled. We are going on now two and a half years, almost three years, because it was January of 2021 that I first noticed that it was not labeled. So almost three years that it's been unlabeled. And I know it's an outside company that comes in and does it, but what I don't understand is all the other Walmarts around here have had their stuff relabeled for forever at least a year and they've even had them redone in that time re-relabeled or whatever you want to call it this one here still not done still looks like shit the rest of the store looks great the nail polish looks awful i don't i don't know i don't get it i don't understand what they're what they're doing anyway i wanted to check and see if it was labeled and i wanted to get some of my pepsis god it's gone up so much this was two twenty eight plus tax up at the register, which I mean they've been they've been that for a while. The two liters are two twenty eight. The twelve packs are six forty eight. Jesus. The six packs of the uh, sixteen ounce bottles are like five dollars. Damn highway robbery, man. I know. Stop drinking soda. No. No, I'm going to drink up all the Pepsi I bought, and then I'm going to go buy more. Why? Because I like it. I'm not drinking all of it. Sometimes my kids drink some of it. But, yeah. Oh, I know it's bad. I know I shouldn't drink it. I'm going to keep drinking it, though. It's the only vice I got left. Leave me alone. 
I don't drink. I don't do drugs. I don't go out partying. I don't do anything. I don't smoke anymore. I quit smoking 12 years ago. It's all I got left. Don't take this away from me. Anyway. Um, what was I going to say? I don't remember. But yeah, they've got Christmas stuff is out everywhere. I went and checked out the Christmas stuff at Target. They're still putting it out. They're not done uh, putting it out yet. We may go take a look at it after they get it all put out. Perhaps. We, we might. We might. I haven't decided yet. We'll just see how I feel. But at when I, last night I was thinking, you know what I want to do? I want to go organize candy. So I decided after work I would try to go organize candy and and I was able to do it. So, yay! I got to organize candy. It was fun. They had a new product. What was it? Skittles Whittles. I thought that was adorable. Little tiny um, miniature Skittles. I had never seen that before tonight. Skittles Whittles. And when I was at Walmart, they had them in little tubes up by the register. So that was pretty neat. Skittles Littles. It's like the M&M Minis, but Skittles. Oh, M&M Minis are the best. They have the perfect chocolate to candy shell ratio, in my opinion. They're so good. I hope Santa puts some in my stocking this year. I usually get a little tube of those in my stocking for Christmas. Christmas. Wow. You know, it's not going to be long. They're going to have the uh, angel tree up, and we'll be picking um, some angels off the tree to buy presents for. I don't know how many I'm going to do this year. I don't know how many I'm going to have time to do. Um, you know, working full time, it's tough. I'm going to try to take a couple days off um, to do some angel tree stuff. If I can, if I can get the time off, I may take like two or three days off. Not just for angel tree, but to do, you know, just, just get stuff done. And uh, so I, I think we'll do at least three. I, I think we can at least do three. And I'm going to try to find siblings. Like, what if we could find, you know, like three siblings? Or we could do maybe maybe four. I don't I don't know. Four would be pushing it. Um, we'll we'll just see what what's on the tree. We'll see what we can find, and we will we will take care of that. So I'm really looking forward to it. But we're absolutely doing that again this year. And I found another blessing box, too, in my travels. I found another church that has a blessing box that they have put out. It must be one that they have just recently put out because I've never seen it before just recently. So, I don't know. I might have to put some stuff in their blessing box as well. I did get some criticism in my last Aldi haul where I bought some blessing box stuff. And, you know, no good deed goes unpunished. You know, people have criticisms when I do angel tree gift shopping as well and people people can always find fault whenever you try to do a good thing and somebody said you know you buy you buy stuff to go in that blessing box but you don't consider the fact that a lot of people don't have dishwashers and I thought the hell does that have to do with anything I put in the blessing box I mean some people don't have dishwashers I mean that's true some people don't but what is how am I supposed to accommodate that? You want me to put a you want me to put a dishwasher in the blessing box? What is your damn point? I I cannot I cannot accommodate every possible thing that someone might have going on in their life. That was a new one though. So you didn't you, you don't consider the fact some people don't have dishwashers. I never said they did. What is that? Is it because I bought dishwashing detergent? I also bought dishwashing liquid. And we, am I being insensitive to people who don't have dishwashers if I buy dishwashing detergent? I am not getting your point. Somebody got their, their a bee in their bonnet over the fact that I, I didn't consider that some people don't have dishwashers. Lord, some people will just bitch about anything. You know, I could show you a picture of a coffee cup and somebody would just lose their shit over it. Oh my God. And they would just have a screed. People just crack me up, man. I read the thing about dishwashers. I had to read it twice. Like, I'm not understanding the point of this comment. <laughs> Some people don't have dishwashers. I know that. What did I do that would upset somebody who doesn't have a dishwasher? I have a dishwasher, but I don't use it. Does that count? I do. We've, we've lived in this house for six years. I've never even turned a dishwasher on. I don't even know if it works. Hell, by now, it probably doesn't. <laughs> 
probably all rusted out and the pipes are all corroded and cracked. It probably would not be a good idea to use it. Now, I wash all my dishes by hand. I, I just prefer to do it that way. That's just the way I like to do it. Um, dishwasher takes too damn long. Anyway, that's just what I like. But yeah, some people don't have dishwashers, Mary. You need to think about that. <laughs> Jesus. Okay. Calm down. <laughs> just calm down. Yeah. Anyway, how's your Friday going? <laughs> Mine's pretty good. I had a pretty good day. And I got the candy sorted at Target. It looks nice. Um, I look like I got a gin blossom because I've been blowing my nose and it's all red now. No, it's I'm fine. I just my nose is just runny for some reason. I feel fine. I just got a little bit of a runny nose today. But I'll probably survive it. Hopefully tomorrow I'm getting some fence put in at my house. I hope they were they said that they should have been able to come by today. They did not come by today from what my son told me. Yeah, they said they were gonna come by today and replace the fence that I'm, I'm gonna get some fence put in on either side of the house. They didn't make it out there today, but they said if they didn't make it today, they'd be there tomorrow. So hopefully tomorrow I'll be getting some fence work done at the house. I'm gonna be out uh, getting up leaves. I'm gonna get out there with my little corded electric leaf sucker. Get out there getting my neighbor's leaves up. Wash my car. Yeah, just a day of outdoor yard work crap. We did some last weekend as well. We got the brick edging put along the front of the house where we had the pla I pulled we pulled up all the plastic edging we had. It was starting to look bad. It was all warped and ugly. We pulled all that up and put in the brick scalloped edging. It looks really nice. Got that done last weekend. So this weekend I'm gonna be getting up leaves and washing my car. Just fun stuff like that, typical fall stuff. And maybe they'll be putting in my fence while I'm working on that. Get my new fence. We're not gonna be able to paint it for a while. It's gonna have to have time to dry. You know, you can't, so. Uh, well, I'm probably gonna stain it. I don't think I'm gonna paint it. I think I'm gonna stain it. I'm not sure yet what, I, what I'm gonna do, but I got plenty of time to work it out because it's gotta have time to dry. And you know, you can't just get in there and put stuff on it right away. You gotta let it kind of dry, dry out. So. That's hopefully gonna happen tomorrow. And uh, I, I don't really have any plans. I don't have anywhere I have to be, which to me is a good weekend. I like weekends where I don't have to be anywhere at any certain time. Well, I have I have two cla exercise classes, but other than that, I don't have anywhere I gotta be. I don't have anything I, I have to do at any certain time. So that's a good weekend to me. The older I get, the more I appreciate stuff like that. Uh, which way do I want to go? I don't think I want to go that way. I see a police car down there. What's going on with the police car? Oh, I don't know. What is going on? The police car sitting in a intersection for some reason. What's up with that? I don't know. What's going on? Where are you going? It's just always something down here. They have these sequin pants at Aldi. I was looking at them when I went. I went to Aldi yesterday. I was looking at these sequin pants, but they felt so rough. And I'm looking at them, thinking, you know, after you wear these for a little bit, all the sequins on the inside are gonna get are gonna come off. They're gonna wear off. They look like they'd be really scratchy too. I didn't get them. They were super cute. They had them in like this. They had these sort of ivory colored pair rose ivory color with sequins and then they had a black pair with sequins. I wanted the ones with the black, the black pair with the sequins. They look really cute but they just seem like they'd be really scratchy to actually wear. So I didn't get them. I just thought of that. I don't know why. But several people on the Aldi fan page that I follow on uh, Facebook were saying, were talking about them today and said yeah you what is going on? Why do they keep doing that? They're just running red lights. I don't one went that way, one went that way. Well, shit. Anyway, sometimes I wonder if they're doing that just to get home faster. Is it an actual emergency? I don't know. Um, 
What was I saying? Yeah, people on the on the fan the Aldi fan page were saying those pants are super cute, but you can really only wear them once because the sequins come off. They just fall off all over the place, and you'd be picking up sequins all night. So they were fifteen dollars. It's probably for the best that I didn't buy them because I they just to me they look like they would be really uncomfortable to wear, like scratchy with all the sequins, you know. So. I didn't get them. I thought, well, let somebody else enjoy them. I'll just leave them there. So, I'm going to go home shortly with all of my Pepsis in the trunk. And I picked up some of the stuff that I want to uh, have for Thanksgiving. I'm going to make Thanksgiving lunch at home. And then we're going to work on getting some Christmas stuff down out of the attic after that. And, uh, we're not doing anything big for Thanksgiving. That's all we're doing. I'm just going to cook a turkey breast to make a pan of dressing. Have some. Uh, I got. I got my. I got my jar of jelly cranberry sauce. That stuff is so good. I'm going to make some um, mashed potatoes and gravy and green beans and rolls. And we're just going to have a little lunch for ourselves and just call it good. And then we're going to start getting Christmas stuff down after that. Yay! I'm excited. We're doing two trees this year. We're doing the Lord of the Rings tree and a beach themed tree. And I think they're both going to look really super cool. And I'm looking forward to seeing how they turn out. Yep. That's, that's what I'm doing. I can't believe it's almost Thanksgiving. You believe it? Oh my God. This is a, what is today? The 10th? God, it's crazy. This year has just flown by. Mm-mm-mm. So I don't really have anything else to say. I just wanted to say hey and let you know that I'll have a Target candy aisle organization coming up. That video will be coming up probably Sunday night. I'll probably save it for Sunday night. I don't know what I'm doing next week. I'll figure that out when I get there. But thank you so much for watching and for being here. Happy Friday. I just wanted to take a minute to say hey. I hope you have a great weekend and I'll see you again soon.